tip. Oh man, I almost just fell over, dude, because I get so dang excited to do these. Listen, guys, what's your attitude like? Are you leaning into these videos? Are you pumped? I got an important, important pro tip for you today. Listen, winning understands change. Winning respects change. Winning wants change. In order to stay relevant in any company that you're in, you must change. You must grow. You guys are pros, right? Okay. Well, somebody can't know you a month from now and not see you changing. People need to walk by and be like, dude, what are you doing? Like, like you, number one, you probably are going to piss a lot of people off. They're like, bro, chill out, man. What you, settle down. Listen, they don't want you to win. They're not out there training on this video a thousand times. But if people aren't walking by and saying, dude, you sound different, you look different, you're acting different, man, like your results are different, then you're not changing. A pro must change. Winning recognizes change. Write that down. Winning recognizes me changing. Winning recognizes me changing. How do I change? I take this content and I execute. I take this content and I execute. I take this content and I execute. And if I can continuously do that, these guys are gonna change one time, maybe a month. So that's, you know, 12 times in a year. I could change one time every day, man. That's 365 times. You can't catch me. You can't adapt to that. <laughs> Dude, you know how dangerous I am because you gotta meet a new me all the time? Listen, man. What you're doing right now may not feel legendary, but you changing a little bit every day, making history is hard. Sometimes when you're making history, you don't even know that you're making history. And you're like, damn man, I ain't changing fast enough. The fact that you think that, you probably are, okay? So all you gotta do is keep changing. Keep having that attitude, good growth-minded attitude. Keep being the best of you, man. Keep doing things with a good heart. And if you're doing those things, I assure you, you're gonna get to where you wanna go. Now listen to this, you can't connect the dots looking forward, knowing exactly where that's gonna take you to general management, to managing partner, to those things. You can't connect those dots. You don't know how to get from here to here. But what you can do is take those necessary steps with changing and growing, and you'll look back and you'll have see pivotal moments where you're like, if I didn't do that, if I didn't change, if I didn't go crazy like that, if I didn't give all that time and effort, I could never be here. I can look back in my life and I can think about all these little moments that I changed, that I made decisions that changed my entire life. Can you, will you be able to? Yes, 10 years is coming no matter what. At the time of this video, I'm 34. I just had my birthday. I remember that was 10 years ago, I was 24. Most of the people around me, they didn't change, they didn't grow. They didn't do anything. They're in the same position as they were 10 years ago. Can you believe that? That's my worst fear. 10 years from now, you're gonna see where I'm going to take over the world, man. I'm gonna grow so freaking much, it's gonna, it's gonna inspire so many people. Will you change, will you grow? Or 10 years from now, will you just look in the mirror and not recognize who you see? You see an alien. You might see an alien right now, like how did I get here? You got there because of the choices that you make. The life that you have now is because of 30 days ago, 60 days ago, four years ago, five years ago. And listen, because of the choices, on acting on the temporary, acting on the temporary feelings, the temporary emotions, the temporary habits that you have, you're gonna get to that life 60 and 90 days and three years from now, but there's not gonna be consequences maybe of those temporary choices. You're gonna have to make the hard choices and act like there's consequences. If I go out drinking with my buddies, hanging out with losers, doing things that I know aren't gonna take me from where I'm at to where I wanna go, I gotta know that there's a consequence to it. I gotta act like there's a consequence attached to that. If you can frame your mind to look at a consequence every time you're making a decision that doesn't suit the growth that you're trying to get, then you're gonna get to that person, man. You will change, you will grow, and people won't be able to catch you, man. And when you do this for long enough, people won't even compete with you. Check this out. Steph Curry goes and makes one three, you're like, oh, that's cool. Two threes, you're like, dang, that guy can shoot. Three threes, what? Four threes, oh my God, this guy's unstoppable. Five threes, people stop competing with you and they start saying you're the best. In order for people to stop competing with you and you to dominate, you gotta change. And let me explain what happens. I remember when I was number one for a month, people were like, oh, it's a fluke. Two months, it's a fluke. Three months, oh, this guy's good. Four months, it's just him. Five months, we don't even compete. He's, you're on a different board than them. You're, they don't even, people don't even compare to that person. They're like, hey, who's gonna get second this month? I, they, I was in sales meetings and they say, who's going to get second this much and by how much? Like, let's talk about how much. Do you want to beat people by inches or do you want to get beat people by miles? I want to beat people by miles, man. This ain't a game. This is your life. Get serious about this, man. 
change. You don't have to be who you are today. You can make a decision behind this video to change and recreate every day. Right? Recreate on your hand. Tattoo it on your forehead and change. And if you can consistently do that, I assure you, you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to be happy with who you see. You're going to be fired up with who you see. You're going to be proud of who you see. Do you know the confidence that you get by doing what you say you're going to do? Do you know the confidence that you're going to get from that? God, man, I wish everybody could experience that, but not a lot of people will because a lot of people won't change. So if you don't want to have an internal conflict with yourself, if you don't want to hate yourself, if you want to go get these big results that you tell your family and yourself you want to get, the most important ingredient to a pro is that they're going to change. And when they change, they stay relevant for a long period of time. If you want to stay relevant, you want to have the, life, the best life ever, what are we going to do? Say it. Say it. Change. We're going to change. Okay? Say it like this again. Say it like you mean it. I don't care if you're sitting here and there's 50 people next to you. Yell, change. Change. We're going to change. Yell total recreation. Total recreation. Hey, if you can do that, you probably didn't have the courage to do that. It's going to take guts. It's going to take courage. Those are two little important ingredients in the success stew, the pro stew that you're going to have to do. If you couldn't say that and you can't get fired up about that, you can't get excited about the journey of change, I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Listen, I only know how to talk to one percenters. If you're a one percenter right now, you get my drift and you're ready to change and you're going to do it today and I'm proud of you. Other people, I'm going to act like you guys are all one percenters. So let's change. Let's go do it. And you can do it and I believe in you and let's go get it.